In this video, I'll show you how to set up jobs in Zero Practice Manager. So what we're gonna do is set up a single job so we can walk through all the fields so you can understand these. But do keep in mind when we do roll over at the end of each financial year, or when you go live on Zero Practice Manager, you can do this in bulk via a CSV upload or using recurring jobs. And we'll cover those two methods later. Now with your jobs, you really wanna think about them as engagements. So with an engagement, we'll have a set of billing and a set of services that we're billing for. It's really important that these all exist in one job. A big mistake we see people make is they have multiple jobs for multiple services. Then they have all the billing in one job and then the timesheets are spread across multiple jobs. This creates a big mess when you do your, your wash ups because when we wash up all of our revenue on that job, we only have a few timesheets on that one because the timesheets are spread across all the other jobs. So when we do our wash up on that main job, we have a huge write up and we write off all the time on all these other jobs. That is a huge impact on your staff reporting and also the reporting on the prof profitability of your services. So it's really important to make sure that all of the time is sitting on the same job as the revenue. So what we'll do is we'll take you through how to set up a job now. So let's jump in and we'll check it out together. So here we are on the dashboard in Zero Practice Manager. Now you can create a new job by clicking this button here. That's one option. Another option is you can come to the jobs tab and then hit create new job just like this. So this takes us to a screen to populate the job information. So first we wanna select a client. So what is the client for this job? So let's just choose uh, Action Enterprises Limited. You can select the contact if we have those set up. So we've got Action Bronson here. Now your template, this is the tasks that you're going to automatically apply uh, to the, the job. So We'll be looking at this later, but you can set up job templates. Uh, so let's say two monthly GST, that's gonna have six GST tasks on it. This one here, six monthly GST, it'll have two GST tasks on it. So all of these templates have associated tasks, costs, and also milestones. We'll be covering these more in detail. I'm just gonna choose annual accounts for this one here. And then I'm gonna change the date to put 2023 in here, just like that. 2023 annual accounts. You can put a job description in if you want. The budget's really worth populating. That is what we plan to charge for the whole engagement. So let's say it was $6,000. Your job state. So your job states, again, these can be customized. You wanna create a list that looks something like this and we'll, we'll be covering this later. And then we're just gonna go, for example, job in. Now we can also select job categories. And again, we're gonna cover this later, but you've got uh, different categories. You wanna identify what billing model is and also what uh, type of engagement, what, what revenue stream it is. So let's say that this is a billable fees compliance job. Now exclude from estimated billings, you wanna leave that unchecked. So just, just leave that box unchecked. Then we have our schedule information with our, starting with our start date and our due dates. Now these are really important to set up and you want to think about what is the, uh, the length of the engagement. So let's say it starts today and we wanna have this job all finished up by the end of next month. Now when we do get into our capacity planning and our task allocations, we can only allocate tasks that fall between these two dates here. So if you do leave this date as at the 20th of January, it's gonna make it really difficult for your scheduling down the track. So make sure you do give yourself enough room for that job scheduling. Uh, leave priority as, as um, suits your partner and your manager. These are pre-populated based on the defaults by the client. So when you set up a client, you can say this is the partner and this is the manager. Uh, or you can update them as well. So let's say we want Ruben as the manager on this job. Then we allocate the staff who are gonna be working on this. So let's say it's uh, myself and Ruben. Then I'll hit save. So that has created the job for us. We have all the information on the job. It's all been set up nicely. If we scroll down, we have all the tasks here. The next thing we want to do is look at allocating a start and due dates to our tasks and potentially updating these estimated times just to help with our scheduling here. So that job's all set up, ready to go, so we can basically start working on it and putting timesheets to it. So that's as easy as that, setting up new jobs. Uh, so that was how we do a single job, but you can do them in bulk through a CSV import using Ignition app or a, another similar app or by using recurring jobs. So I hope that was useful and I'll see you in the next video.